I am going to show an example of what to do with the free boxes of food that we've been getting. Um, we, I got ground turkey, a pound of ground turkey the other day, so I thought, well, I can use that in place of hamburger. So I've got that browned already. And then we've got, we got these um, things with, it's got beans in it and corn in it and some tomato and it's kind of a Mexican flavor. So I'm gonna dump both of them in. And we are gonna make um, a burrito thing. Now I'm gonna add some taco seasoning mix because I like things. Okay, and um, we got this from Ruby's Pantry. Um, also, there's another free box where they hand out stuff at our church, too. So, um, between the two. I just stuck it in the freezer when I got home, so I thought, well, I'm going to try this. So, um, always whenever you use your seasoning mixes, you add a little bit of water here. We're just going to add a little water. Not, not going to add much because we don't want it. We're going to put it in a burrito shell, so I don't want it real runny like a soup. Normally, I would make it like a soup, but and this is still kind of froze a little, but not very much. Um, so stir it up good. I'm using a plastic spoon because it's nonstick inside, and I don't want to ruin my Instant Pot. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to start it. And I would do slow cook, except it's already 1.38, and we're going to want to eat before four hours is up. So I'm going to do it on um, uh, soups and stews, which is number two. So now it's on number two, and then we'll hit start. And that should be done because it kind of pressurizes it a little and it'll cook fairly quick. Let's just put our lid on and now we just wait and later on, I can't do the burritos because the burritos that I bought is some free ones and I can't do gluten. So I'll probably just have a dish of it. But Monica will probably have a burrito. I brought in the burrito shells so, and then we're just in my freezer too. So um, we will, touch base again when we are sampling this and see how it turns out. It'll be basically a free meal. Okay. Hi. Hi. We're uh, making our lunch. Um, actually, we made this from uh, a box that we get from uh, Ruby's Pantry. I know a lot of people probably don't know, you know, what to do with the stuff in the boxes. And we're gonna do a series on stuff, what you can do with the box. This is one of the things that we got that had a mixture of vegetables and stuff in it. And um, it's actually got cilantro, so it's very Mexican smelling or flavor. And so I'm gonna, she can't eat the burrito shells and I can, but for keto, you don't. But I'm gonna make a burrito out of it. So I'm gonna put some in there. Now I put more in there too. <laughs> so it's got. Um, and usually I would put cheese on it, but I don't have any cheese here. I'm gonna take that part of it. No, I didn't. Think. And we did get and cheese in the box. the burrito. It wasn't shredded cheese. Yeah, we got mozzarella cheese one time in the box. Yeah. But I never thought to bring that from home, from my freezer, because that's where I've got it all at. If I get so much that I freeze it down and then I um, take it out when I think of something to, to make. Well, I'm gonna just eat mine um, just on a plate. Anybody that's doing keto or, well, this isn't keto because the beans and the corn, but um, I, I've do, been doing gluten-free for, since 2004, so quite a few years. So, yeah, and um, a lot of our videos we're going to be trying to work at saving money, penny pinching. Um, so, this definitely would be a penny pinching meal because you get it.
got the box for for twenty bucks. There was a lot of stuff in the box, and then they just basically it was free except for the seasoning packet that I had bought on sale one day. So, and um, people get those boxes sometimes, even uh, if you get boxes from the food shelf. They don't know what to do with the food, how to make the meals out of it and stuff. So we're going to go through that. Um, whoops. It's, it's good. It's definitely Mexican, but it's not hot. I'd add more spice to it. It'd be good with some hot sauce on it. Mm, that's good. Yep. Well, hopefully you like it. You can push that like button. And think about subscribing. You guys have a good day.